Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Sim Caesar, <clears throat> your boy MC, OSRS, and today what we're going to be getting into is we're going to be talking about an update, TLI. All right, let's read more. Just came out September 14, 2017. Now, look at this. What do you think about it being on a phone? You know, I was thinking about like the smaller phones, how condensed it would be, but if they get it pretty straightforward and solid, it should go pretty smooth. I mean, this looks pretty smooth. In fact, I ain't gonna lie. I, I play RuneScape on a computer and a desktop, and that's how I like it. But after seeing this and, and seeing that they've actually got it to this point, I'm interested. I'm actually literally intrigued. Like, I, this, this does change the game for me, you know. I can't bring my computer everywhere, but I can bring my phone everywhere. You know, I could be training, I could be AFKing, I could be woodcutting, skilling, I, I could be doing anything. I mean, you got a lot of stuff to do, especially if you're a busy person. And we're gonna get into some of what, what's all into this and and what they're doing about it. But you know, for all those people like me who schedule, they can't play every day and or constantly every day, even though I do, but I shouldn't. But if you have a busy schedule, there's times in between, you get breaks, you get stagnant periods, you get times of no productivity or anything happening or being done. And, and by making this mobile or accessible on whatever type of phone that you have, whether it's five inches or a plus size phone, this just makes the game a lot more available, a lot more attractive, and yes, playable. Okay, so what does LTI stand for? Top level interface. That's what LTI stands for. The top level interface. Okay, and that's what they're trying to do is, is to make sure that this interface works. That's what this update is all about. How can it work and, and be available to that type of person? Uh, as you see right here, they want to try, try to make it uh, fit on a five inch display. So they got to scrunch everything together. Uh, one of the issues that they were trying to contemplate is is the menus, you know, like the, the, the stats, the skill bar, the prayer, the quest, you know, tab, the, the wrench, the logout you know the friends and how are they going to place that on here where it won't mess up you know logging logging in going into the bank minimizing screens opening up other screens you know they also talk about how they they have to have these things you know on the interface a mini map and a compass world map button chat filters tabs inventory stats combat spell book prayers quest equipment settings social logout world switcher you know stuff that's just it needs to be there as a high priority for any player to succeed in this game. And without it, uh, a player using the phone probably would would not get where they need to be getting. Right here, you know, the chat bar would be up here. Some of the options would be down here, down here with an inventory and a mini map. I like how this looks. It's pretty straightforward and it looks promising. Um, so, yeah, just tell me what you think about playing on mobile like look at that looks pretty pretty fresh pretty legit <clears throat> I, would, <clears throat> I would love to do this now look at this it looks beautiful on a little phone like this put in the comments below are you guys going to be playing runescape more because of this do you think there's going to be more people in the community do you think people will pk like this do you think people will find a way to bot like this do you think that this opens the door for more farming, more cheating, more botting. I mean, regardless, I, I think this is one of, honestly, one of their greatest updates. Again, I mean, it's gonna just introduce a lot more players to the game, which would be, in general, an overall better for us and probably the economy too and the longevity of the game. Um, I don't see games taking, you know, this type of leap. But as you all know, there was a. Th a three to four hundred million dollar investment by some Chinese mining company into the game. So I'm sure that has a lot to do with their expansion. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you like it and want to hear more, you know, give it a thumbs up. But definitely like and subscribe and comment below what you think about this phone or this mobile OSRS update. Alright, y'all take it easy.